Hi, Air Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Um, in this reading, we are going to find out what's your upcoming good news. And the table looks different. It's because I've already moved to a different hotel, but I'm still in Bali, Indonesia. And you won't be able to see the cards um, because of the way it's set up. And also, I don't have enough space, but... I will show you the cards whenever I can, okay? Um, let's get a reading started, Earth Signs. Uh, spirits and Angels, please show me for Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, their upcoming good news. One second, our signs. <coughs> and again, I'm back to being sick. <laughs> Every time when I go out too much, I get sick. Um, there are little tiny ants that I can see. I've already, I don't know, never mind, it's okay. Justice at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this this to me is really, really good. Okay, justice can indicate uh, if some of you, you're going through a legal situation, that means um, the outcome will be in your favor. Also, justice indicates marriage for some of you. Um, some good news in regards to marriage. Some of you, it's you getting married or somebody very close to you, somebody you love um something you care for okay mm, justice also can indicate good karma um justice karma some of you good news will have something to do with good deeds that you have done in your life and you're receiving your good karma okay so we've got the i'm going to show you the cards we've got the hangman right here so this for me indicates sacrifice or something that is um, not moving, uh, some, something that is being at a pause, something, for those of you who have been waiting for something and it's not really moving forward, it's starting, it's going to start to move forward because we've got the Eight of Swords here in reverse, something you've been thinking a lot over and over again, I feel like something is going to happen uh, either because we've got the lovers here, either somebody is going to choose you or you're going to choose somebody or something, okay, it can be anything, but a choice will be eventually made, and um, the good news is either you're making the right choice, or somebody is choosing you, or something is choosing you, okay, and that's what I'm getting here, um, let's see, I'm still trying to get used to this table, the shape is super odd, right, it's like super small here, and then it curves to like bigger, so uh, anyway, uh, we've got the Ten of Swords here in reverse. This, this for me indicates healing recovery with the hangman above the Ten of Swords here in reverse. To me, indicates for those of you, if you've been feeling sick, um, upcoming good news will be you feeling much better. Yeah, I see you recovering um, from some illnesses, okay? No matter how big or small. We've got the Two of Cups here in reverse. For those of you separated from someone, or two of cups and rice also can indicate maybe there's a delay in uh, for those of you single or signs if you're looking for someone new or a new relationship uh, if there's a delay again the hangman can indicate a delay and if you've been working on yourself um ten of swords and reverse uh, this for me can indicate either someone is going to try and make things right with you with the justice here again at the bottom of the deck and wanting to um <clears throat> reconcile some of you it's a reconciliation if that's what you're looking for that could be good news for you or some of you may just want to hear from someone and gain some sort of closure and that could happen as well <clears throat> and we've got the chariot here in reverse again with it being in reverse a lot of cards are being uh, in reverse whether you are single 
or if there could be a delay from someone apologizing to you or someone uh, reconciling with you, I feel like that's going to, good news will be, be um, and that it's going to start to, you're going to start to see there's some forward movement, okay? Um, because again, the chariot here is in love. But five of wands here indicates someone or something, okay? Um, either someone is feeling really conflicted right now, or that there could be some external factors or internal factors that could be delaying this um forward movement but eventually it will start moving okay when the time is right that's what i'm getting here and with the seven of swords here and by somebody may also come clean with you um this person what i'm seeing here with the page of swords here more verse this person has been spying on you or keeping tabs on you um thinking about whether to make a choice to return or to reconcile sometimes when i say somebody it could go vice versa okay just take what resonates with you you or the other person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with so uh the page of swords and lovers i feel like this person has been keeping tabs on you they've been thinking a lot about you with the hangman here and finally they're gonna come forward feels like they're gonna make a choice to make things right with you with the uh justice right here okay um however this could i mean you could apply this to something else as well besides love um, for a lot of you, it could be love because we've got the lovers here. But this could also be an indication of some sort of partnership, uh, business partnership. For some of you, some good news surrounding a new business partnership. Okay. I feel like maybe this is something that you've been wondering if you and this person or people you're going to be working with are going to work well with you. Are they gonna like you um will this be a good good team or a good partnership i feel like good news would be that it is going to be a good partnership because the lovers is in that right position and it's also a major arcana give me a second i says i need to drink some water i moved to this hotel um this afternoon at one and i slept all the way through and to, now it's like from 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. Wow, I can't really sleep, huh? <laughs> but also, I'm not feeling well. So I'm going to pull out more cards here, Earth Signs. <clears throat> See, the sun for me indicates good news. So good news coming in for sure, Earth Signs. You are going to be really, really happy. For some of you, good news surrounding children, um, uh, pregnancy, or good news in regards to pets also, okay? Something about your pets, if you have pets, or some good news or that. Good news in regards to how your pets are happy um, being in your life or being adopted by you, okay? Uh, the sun is definitely the happiest card in the entire deck. And with the Eight of <clears throat> Pentacles here above the sun, for me, this indicates um, really good news surrounding work, work, especially if you are one of the earth signs who work really, really hard. <clears throat> As if you look at the Eight of Pentacles, this person is really focusing, right? Something you've been focusing on. I mean, it may not always mean just work. It could be work, but also could be something you've been working on, uh, on yourself. On uh, For some of you, it's looking for... The right person, the right romantic partner. I see you finding it as well because the sun, look at how big the eyes are. And of course, it's bright, it's yellow. Oh, I like to suggest our signs to wear the color yellow because I feel like I don't know where I'm getting. <laughs> I'm getting this message about wearing and then eight of pentacles also these are uh, yellow and the sun here is yellow try and incorporate something in your dressing that is yellow could be a handbag accessories could be a shirt it doesn't have to be like head to toe yellow okay to why you look like a banana but <laughs> but but yellow is a good color okay um even in um chinese feng shui yellow actually brings a lot of luck uh indicates happiness as well so something about needing to wear yellow if you want to enhance your 
luck <clears throat> enhance your enhance your luck. Sorry, I can't talk right now. <laughs> or if you're attending in a a court a session, we've got justice here again, right? Those of you attending like a court session or a what do you call a job interview? Something that is important to you, okay? Something where you are going to be judged or a competition, singing competition, whatever competition. I feel like if you incorporate some yellow in your wardrobe, uh, in your clothing, your dressing, it could bring you more luck. I don't know why I'm getting, I've never gotten this color message ever, first time, <laughs> but... <clears throat> So yellow is the color, and um, I mean, obviously with the sun here being a major color, um, there'll be positives, of course, um, but, you know, just enhance it a little bit more by wearing yellow. What's wrong with me if saying yellow? <laughs> but I don't know, that's what I'm getting, I'm hearing it. So we've got the six of wands here in reverse. And we've got the Hermit and the High Priestess. Yep, this could be a competition for some of you. If you're competing with someone, whatever the competition is, whether you're competing with people, with other girls, with other guys for, you know, a love interest, or you're competing at work with the Eight of Pentacles here, um, or an actual real competition, Spirit's definitely seeing um, you you got to put in a lot of work with the Eight of Pentacles here. Play, uh, pay attention to details because the Hermit is right here. And Hermits of Virgo, so I need to pay attention to details and also ask for advice or feedback from someone who is way more experienced than you are. And the High Priestess here, don't, um, to me, the High Priestess indicates you needing to keep your secrets to yourself, okay? If you have any secrets to your success, to how you do your thing, just um, don't reveal it. That's what I'm getting here. Um, play your cards well. Um, it feels also that you're going to be the dark horse, as in you're going to come out of nowhere, and people would underestimate you, but um, but they're going to be surprised, right? They're going to be shocked because, again, the sun here kind of makes me feel like this could be like suddenly, you know, and there's a horse here too. <clears throat> Some of you are competing in like a horse riding thing. Um, and the six of wands in reverse, see how people are underestimating you. Some of you, maybe you're new at what you do or that you're just not showing off. But spirits also could be saying to not show off, okay, keep it to yourself, whatever it is. Uh, especially when it comes to the way you do things and secrets. Um, the hermit also <clears throat> can indicate again that you needing to be very, very wise, okay? Just um, be as grounded and as... Um, What's that word again? Be as grounded and what's that word? The opposite of not showing off. Okay, be humble. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Be humble and don't share your secrets with anybody, no matter what. All right, our science. This is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Um, I'll leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. These playlists are from my second channel. The first, uh, no, one is from my second channel. <clears throat> it's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics, different questions. Check it out if you want to. And <clears throat> I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, Earth signs. Sorry that I sound so bad. Bye, Earth signs. <laughs>